Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another Around the Town of Brantford with Henry and Frank. I'm Frank Tuhill. Today, we're at the Joe Trapasso Brantford Veterans Memorial Community House, 46 Church Street, right here in the center of Brantford. The reason we're here is to showcase for you and discuss an upcoming Brantford Garden Club flower show. It's going to be held at the end of September 2022, right here at the Community House. And with me is the publicity chair, Nancy Iannotti, and she's going to tell us all about this garden show. It's a big event. It's a big garden show, correct, Nancy? For the whole it is. state. It right? is. For the whole state, yeah. It, yes, we are part of the state, and we are, when we do an event, we use the state as our guidelines. So, good morning, everyone. Happy first day of summer. And it's not a beautiful day, but it's a nice day. So we're going to introduce the chairman of the Bramford Garden Club, Doreen Larson Oboiski. Uh, would you mind getting uh, Doreen? I think she is ready to tell us most of the um, most of the information about the Garden Club and how we are approaching this flower show. Uh, also, we will have to speak to us and give us more information. Uh, Deborah Vallis, who's chairman of design of the flower show. So give me a minute to get these ladies so they could give you the information about the flower show, which is happening in September. Yes, it's on Saturday, September 24th from 1 to 5 p.m. and also on Sunday, the following day, September 25th, 12 to 4. Now you have to buy tickets and I mean, pretty soon we're gonna tell you how you can get your tickets, but. Okay, here is Doreen and she will give you some information about the Garden Club and also about the flower show in September. Okay, great, thank, thank you, you Nancy. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Good, nice to see you, Doreen. Nice to see you. Um, I'm the chairperson of the uh, flower show this year. We have one every four years. So this is our, our flower show this time. I, uh, four years ago, we had one in Stony Creek that was at actually seven um, buildings. But this year, we're gonna be here at our new beautiful community house. But you will see us transform this building into a garden that is spectacular. We are gonna reflect gardens from around the world. Um, so like I said, when you walk into this building for the flower show, which will be on uh, September 24th and the 25th, you will be transported to gardens around the world. Yes, right. In fact, that's what the flower show is called, right? Yes. Gardens around the world. And there's four divisions, right? Would you, would you tell us about the the divisions well we're gonna have one of the things that we're doing right now uh, today is training to learn how to do floral designs designs are one of the areas that we will have we'll have designs in several different rooms in the community house reflecting different gardens of the world another important part of our flower show is uh, horticulture um, and Horticulture means that people will um, be taking examples of the plants that they have in their yards and in their homes and displaying them in this room um, to show people all the different types of flowers that they grow. And um, it will be spectacular and it will also be reflective of gardens around the world. Okay. Then we also have an education area that um, will show um, different projects that are being worked on throughout the town of Brantford. Um, that are important, um, mostly ecologically uh, uh, focused kinds of projects that, um, that our education um, committee will have. Okay. And then we'll have um, botanical arts, which are, it's very interesting. Botanical arts are uh, taking common elements and decorating them with floral material. So I hope everybody will uh, come and see what we have to offer and the creativity of the members of our garden club. Okay, it's BrantfordGardenClub.org. Now, if people want to buy tickets at this early date, can they buy them now? Uh, uh, 
um, yes, if they uh, check our website, um, you will be able. They will be able to uh, click on to buy tickets. Okay, it's going to be a great event, as you've just heard. The Garden Club in Brantford only has a garden show every four years. A flower show, yes. And um, it's going to be uh, just as Doreen said, just spectacular with the four divisions. Now, are prizes going to be awarded? Well, we're going to have one uh, prize that will be, um, oh, you mean for the designs? Oh, yes, we have um, ribbons that will be awarded for all of the designs. And we have judges coming in from all over the state of Connecticut that will judge um, the, the um, submissions that will be here. Okay, now to enter, I mean, what's the procedure to enter your exhibit? Well, we uh, the exhibit, to enter, you really need to be a member of the Brantford Garden Club. So, All right, so that's the first step. You've got to join the Garden Club. That's correct. And you can do that, what, on the website? You can do that on the website. Right. Applications are available. All right, so it's BranfordGardenClub.org. Yeah. All that's right, correct. so you join the Garden Club. That's the first step. All right, what's the second step to enter? Then you have to sign up for whichever uh, design you think you would like to be, uh, you would like to enter. Or if you have um, plants in your garden, that you would like to enter, you can do that. But that's closer to the, um, the horticulture is closer to the show actually, because you wanna make sure you have the things available that you wanna submit. Yeah, absolutely. Plants. Um, excuse me. <laughs> um, Pollen. <laughs> yeah, it's true that, right. I, I mean, we're outside here at the Joe Trapasso uh, Community House, and you know, the, we've got the flowering plants. Um, so, you know, the Garden Club throughout the town does a lot of great work. And, uh, you know, you can see their work at the Blackstone Library, the Willoughby Wallace Library. They do the beautiful lamppost baskets right on Main Street. They do the um, Civil War flagpole, right? That That's the garden yes. there. Um, they also do the work right at the Rosenthal, the Rosenthal Gardens, right? The yes, house there on Perkins yes. Street. Yes. The veterans garden and, and on the green. He just mentioned that. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're, so they really do a lot. And, you know, as I said before, if you have a green thumb or if you want a green thumb, the Brantford Garden Club is the place to be. Now, you have your meetings, what, each month? We have monthly meetings, except during the summer. Um, we have monthly meetings on the first Thursday of the month at 12. And we also have an evening group. Um, many of our members do work and they are not available to come to the daytime meeting. So we also have a meeting on the first Tuesday of the month. And we have speakers and events at each each meeting. So we have two meetings monthly that and, uh, you can go to. That's great. And currently, right as we speak, inside the Joe Trapasso Community House, there's a, there's a meeting going on right now, right? Well, this is a workshop. Okay. Uh, and the teacher is uh, up. This workshop is going to be coming out, and she is our design chairperson for the club, and she's um, an award-winning designer, floral designer. Okay. And we have um, we have actually five judges that are members of our club, that are spectacular designers. So um, all of us are trying to learn how to do this one type of design that's a Japanese-style design called ikibana, and we're also going to take. Uh, try and learn how to do a petite design today. Well, that's great. See, so it's, you know, it's educational too. Oh you know? yes, we so, have a lot of fun. Yeah, and it's a lot of fun as well. Now, I was reading through this very comprehensive brochure which discusses the upcoming garden show, Gardens this, Around the World. This is called the schedule. And a uh, schedule is necessary for every flower show because it gives you all the directions um, in here. And it also names um, each style of design that, um, it, that will be that you could enter. Now, I think Doreen, I saw somewhere here in the schedule that you can enter photographs. Is that right? Oh, that's right. I forgot about the photography division that we're going to have this year. That is new, and so we're going to have an area that you could enter photographs, and the um, and we will even mount them for you. So if you want to enter them, so, so that should be fun. Very fun. I mean, there's all kinds of opportunities to be uh, in the show. Yes. So, um, so now only every four years does the Brantford Garden Club have a flower show, right? Yes, because it takes so much work to put a flower show on. We need four years. Four years in we between. Have, we have to take a year off <laughs> <laughs> afterwards, and then we have to come up with ideas, and then we come up with our next um, 
uh, flower show ideas that we'll have well, these yes, every four years. These ideas really sound great. Yeah. So it's coming up now at the end of September, Saturday, September 24th from 1 to 5 p.m. right here at the Community House. And then the following day, Sunday, September 25th, 12 noon to 4 p.m. So put those two dates on your calendar. There's going to be, as Doreen said, so many exhibits that you're going to that you're going to want to possibly come both, both days. days. And not only that, I just want to say I don't know if we've talked about our marketplace that's going to be available. Okay. Anda is going to. I know she, Anda is going to explain that all to us, but. Also, you can find you'll be able to find some really great, interesting things at our little marketplace too, she, and she will tell you all about it. We're going to be listening, we're hearing from her. And uh, next, now. next, I'd like to introduce our design chairperson, Deb Ballas. Okay, great. Deb. Good morning. Hey, Deborah. Nice to see you, Deborah. Nice to see you. Yeah, great. So, um, all right. As the design chairman of the uh, upcoming. Gardens Around the World Flower Show. Would you tell us your uh, role? Well, I'm the design chairman, which means I have to get 36 people to volunteer to make floral arrangements for our flower show. Um, we have um, classes uh, of, of different types of gardens, and the designers make uh, designs to complement those gardens. And that's what we're doing today here is we have a workshop, we have a few workshops before the flower show and different design types we have in the manner of Ikebana. We have low profile, we have creative design, we have um, many different types of design and we teach um, our members how to, uh, to make the designs. And today we're working on Ikebana, which is um, a really a fantastic and unusual design type. And we hope that um, we get a lot of people coming through and we have people to explain how we've done them and what we do to and and they're all judged. We have a panels of judges that come in, they're uh, state judges, and uh, the panel judges the designs and gives out first, second, third, and honorable mention ribbons. And um, it's a great thing to get a to get a blue ribbon. Uh, yeah. I stick mine on my refrigerator so my family can see it. How many do you have, Deborah? How many what? Blue ribbons. Oh. Lots. You have lots. Uh, I've been designing for more than 20 years. I am, um, I am a flower show judge, and um, oh. I enter all over New England. Oh, you do. Wow. Yeah. I mean, what, I mean, what do you uh, grow? What, what type of flowers do you, uh, do you exhibit? Um, it depends on the design style. I like flowers from home because um, I'd rather not go out and buy flowers. There's some fabulous things in your garden or your neighbor's garden. Sometimes, or along the side of the road. Really? Yeah, and um, things that are blossoming when we have our shows are uh, more fun to use and to work with. Um, so we have a great time. So you mean that like people can't really do the arrangement for the entry today, right? It's oh gosh, no. The end of June. They have to wait until what? Mid September. Our, our flower show is the end of September. Yeah. So uh, what we do is all summer we look for containers. To, to do our designs in. We look for different color schemes that we like. Um, and we all get, we do our workshops of the different types of design like we're doing today. And then in the end of, at the end of August, we'll all get together with the people who are entering designs and um, bring our plant material, our containers, our ideas, and we get together and we pa uh, toss it back and forth. Um, we have some new people who've never entered before and we have others that have entered uh, maybe a hundred designs in different areas. And everybody helps each other out. And then we have a glass of wine at the end. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Okay, so this upcoming garden show, Gardens Around the World, here yep. at the Joe Trapasso Community House, will be held Saturday, September 24th, and Sunday, September 25th. Tickets are available now at the Garden Club website, RanfordGardenClub.org. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes, great to talk with you. I'm going back to work. Okay. That's the design chair, Deborah Ballas. Thank you, Deb. Okay, next. Okay, we're going to hear now from Anda Wire, Anda Wire Anda. about the marketplace. And here she is. Nice to see you again, Anda. Nice to see you too, Frank. We usually see one another for scarecrows on the green, yes, so we'll right. be seeing you in October. Yes. Um, so, I, one really fun part of any flower show is the some people call it the vendors i tend to call it the marketplace and what i've been doing for the past couple of months is 
you know, going around shopping, looking at local merchants, merchandise. I've been going to other flower shows um, in Connecticut, in Rhode Island to see what their vendor or marketplace looks like. Mm -hmm. And basically what it is, um, I guess I'm concentrating on local Branford and also Connecticut uh, retailers, artisans, and I've since expanded my search to Rhode Island and Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. So the uh, marketplace will feature approximately 25 vendors up on the second floor of the community center and they will be offering merchandise for sale ranging from garden related items, um, fabulous scarves, accessories, jewelry, uh, stained glass, uh, the list kind of goes on and on, but it's always a lot of fun and it's interesting. And once again, we're supporting local businesses. The Garden Club doesn't charge very much to the vendors, you know, to participate, pretty much just covering costs for table, chair, table covering, and they keep all of their, um, they keep all the money that they gather, so. It's a wonderful event, and once you're done looking at the floral designs, the horticulture specimens, you know, seeing that perfect chrysanthemum, that perfect dahlia, then come up, upstairs and join the marketplace. So that's going on as well as the flower show, and so, you know, you want to be here for that as well. So it's those two days that the, uh, you know, the Garden Club will be here, Again, it's coming up on um, uh, September 24th and September 25th. And upstairs, be sure to check out Onda's Marketplace. Right. I think we'll call it Onda's Marketplace. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> that's, that's good. Onda's anyway. It's got a nice ring right. to it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you very You're much, welcome. Frank. Thanks, we'll see thanks you for... for Scarecrows on the Green yeah. in October. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll see everybody on the Green for the Scarecrows. Right, Onda? Thanks. Right. Thank you, Wanda. As well as the design... These ladies have also, they will introduce themselves and tell you about other things that you'll see if you buy a $10 ticket for the flower show. This is Denise and this is Lynn. So they'll tell you about what they are planning for their part of the flower show. I'm Denise and Lynn. Uh, we are co-chairs of the educational section um, of the flower show. Each, there are several different sections and our aim is to bring in some very interesting exhibits to educate the public. Um, and a couple of um, ideas that we, in the past, we've had um, our community garden club has done an exhibit on composting um, and on growing garlic. We've had um, something on monarch butterflies, invasive plants. So those are a couple of ideas that um, some of those will be similar to this year's exhibits as well. Um, the, the exhibitors um, are very interested. Uh, a table's provided, uh, a covering for the table. There's no fee to be an exhibitor in the educational section. Um, and um, the handouts are always wonderful because the public just likes to take some things home and, and to be able to read about them. So that's one of the things that we do for our section. That's great, Denise. Hmm. Um, so we have a nice variety of people coming with their exhibits, um, all kinds of things, as um, Lynn mentioned, butterflies. Um, we also have um, one exhibit coming with um, pests. There's a spotted lantern fly and um, ash borer, which is killing most of the ash trees um, in the state. So we have pests as well. So we have a good variety and we hope that you'll enjoy the exhibit and learn something and um, go out with some answered questions. Okay, thank you, Lynn. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. You. Thank you, Lynn, and thank you, Denise, with the education co-chairs. And now we're back with the publicity chairman of the Brantford Garden Club, Nancy Iannotti. So as you could see, 
the flower show is going to be a variety of things. So if you purchase a ticket for $10, you'll see exhibits that these ladies have done. You'll see the vendors. Everybody loves to shop, and the vendors are very unique. They're not just um, Walmart and Big Y. They're very unique um, vendors. So um, I think that at this point, you could also um, purchase tickets online. That is very important. So go to our website, which is BranfordGardenClub.org, and you will see a link. It's um, the Eventbrite link, and you could purchase tickets online. You don't have to... Um, uh, come to our meetings and purchase them individually. You could do it right online. And um, for $10, you're going to enjoy this flower show. We've worked very hard on it, yeah. and uh, you, I'm sure you will enjoy it. A question. Uh, if you buy one ticket, can you use it both days, Nancy? Yes. Okay, so it's for both days. Right, so, yes. And those two dates, again, are... Saturday? September Saturday, September 24th at 1 o'clock, and Sunday, September 25th from 12 to 4. Yes, you could use the tickets, one ticket for both days. That's fine. Now, That's, buying we've the, eliminated that. Oh, this is not? Yeah, right. Okay. Um, <laughs> so it's going to be a great event in Brantford. Only every four years does the Brantford Garden Club have a garden show. This is going to be for the whole state. And what, there's something like, you said once that, what, 7,000 people belong to the right. garden clubs there, in Connecticut? Right. And there, there's a, yeah, that's great. It's, we are, the, and these uh, people, these members are in different groups. Yeah. We are in what we call the extra large group because we have 148 members in our club, which is one of the largest clubs in the state. Wow. But uh, the state, uh, we use the guidelines for the state for this show. So um, if you're interested in purchasing a ticket, just get online. It's very easy. And I'm sure, or you could purchase a ticket the both days of the event. Okay. You do not have to per, uh, um, purchase the ticket uh, pre preview. It's just... Come that day and um, purchase it that day. It's, a, it, it's the same price as if you buy it online? Absolutely. Yeah, okay, so it's, it's very convenient. You can just show up. Right. Yeah. $10, that's yeah. all it is. Yeah. And children are free. Okay, that's great. Okay. Well, thank you, Frank, um, for um, coming and helping us out with this uh, publicity. Well, it's a pleasure to be part of the Garden Club, you know, with the publicity and... Um, I mean, we always enjoy covering all your events. We've done Thank the you. house Thank tours. You. We've done the, you know, the shows over the years. Scarecrows every year. We Absolutely. Cover. Right. It's, it's a great organization. And again, you know, if you have a green thumb or you want a green thumb, the Brantford Garden Club is the place for you. And it's BrantfordGardenClub.org. Okay. All these events that people purchase tickets for, we use the money for the gardens that we are responsible for responsible for in the town. Uh, we are responsible for the veterans uh, garden and the baskets. The baskets are a huge project for us as well as an expensive project. So these uh, events that we have, the money is used for scholarships. We give a scholarship every year from uh, someone who um, is going into some kind of horticulture uh, in um, uh, June from the Brantford uh, High School. We okay. give them a scholarship wow. and we use the money, as I said, for purchasing flowers for the baskets and plants for um, a number of events. Yeah, well, those things, they, they cost money. They're not right. free. And isn't it true that you're all volunteers? This We're all volunteers. Because no one gets paid no for No one gets paid for this, for this. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. It's strictly 
a volunteer. I've been a member for 15 years, by the way. I never won a blue ribbon. <laughs> I've won second prize. <laughs> I've won a third prize, but I've never won a blue ribbon. <laughs> so that's what we strive for, yeah. a blue ribbon. So um, come to the uh, Garden Club on the 24th of September and the 25th, and you'll see our competition. Thanks again, Henry and Frank. Yeah, thank you too. I've been with Nancy Iannotti. She's the publicity chair for the both the Garden Club and as well as the Garden Show coming up on September 24th and 25th right here at the Joe Trapasso Community House. So it's been great to be here. Thank you. And thank, thank you, you for letting us, you know, tape this. Okay, so uh, for Henry Pond, I'm Frank Tuhill. And until next time, goodbye. Thank you.